What's going on 47 Troop? This upload is all about the AR-15 as well as comparison to the AR-12. In this video we highlight just how ergonomically sound the AR-15 is. And with that being said, let's sit back and get ready for the video. Hey, what's going on folks, man? We back, man. It's DG47 Arms. Y'all already know I'm DG47. And uh, today, you know what I'm saying, I want to shout out to my, my 47 troop, man. You know, we, we we working on 700 strong. And uh, I salute each and every one of my subscribers, man. Let me just get that out the way. So now let's get into the video, man. I have this AR-15. I'm sure y'all seen it in a few videos, but... I realized I never did a single video on this is firearm. So this is actually an AR build and the, uh, the lower is from M&M Firearms out of Valrico, Florida. You know, at any rate, man, we just gonna go ahead and do a field strip and then I'm gonna show you guys how my AR-12 is um, pretty much similar to this AR-15. And what we'll do is we'll go over some of the things that are the same and some of the things that are different in the AR-12 and the AR-15. So first thing you will want to do with field stripping this thing is clear your weapon. And put your flip up sights down. Next thing you want to do is locate your pins. Locate your pins and that's one right there. Bam. Once you pop that pin out right there, y'all know the rest. Okay, your second pin. Bam, push that out right there. Wrench out. Something like this. And then you find. Bam, put that under there. And pop the pin out. Bam, once you do that, the pin basically comes in half. And you have your 80% lower you have your barrel. So, I mean, that's one of the great things about the AR-15 is it does not take a lot to break this gun down and clean. Two pops of two pins, bam. You're all down inside of your trigger well. It's basically your whole lower. And you can clean that out. And then you have three Allen screws right here, or hex, hex screws right here. And you can take your barrel cover off, you know what I'm saying? Pop these three out, bam, this slides right off. You clean all the soot and uh, build up debris off, and that's that. <clears throat> so that's the great thing about the AR-15. Now, to put it back together, simple, bam. Man, you gotta love that. I mean, that's just super duper fast to uh, change and do anything modularly that you need to do with this fighter. Okay, so this is the AR-15. This is the AR-12. It's pretty much the same gun, but almost all of the same functions. Uh, they both have the ambidextrous charger handle in the back. This has one right here, as well as this one. Uh, the AR-12 and the AR-15 are pretty much the same design, except for this is um, chambered in 12 gauge. This is chambered in 5.56223. But uh, outside of that, it's pretty much the same design. Uh, the only thing that is not the same design is the safety. This has a safety up here, which you can still use your trigger finger. Yeah, you can still use your trigger finger, but you have to use your left hand to take it off. But the safety only you use your left hand to take the safety off and use your right hand. So it would be nice if it was the little thumb switch right here, like like this one but it's not but um this breaks down pretty much the same thing it has two pins as well pin right here pin right here and a pin right here 
since it's a 12 gauge. I'm not sure if AR rifles have three pins or two, but the shotgun has three, this pistol has two. That's pretty much what it is with the, uh, with the AR-15. It's just so modular and put together and it breaks down so smooth that that's where the AK can't really compare to the AR-15, as I hate to say it. The upgrade in the design, you know, the AK was made in 1945. This is modern warfare. This is new technology. Like I said, this is where the AR-15 trumps, you know, the AK-47. This is the AR-12 right here, man. I love it, I love the functions. I love that it's modeled off of the AR-15. Again, this is the AR-12, and it is a very small shotgun setup. This will do a lot of damage. Let's get back to the AR-15. So yeah, ergonomically, like this is it. You got your mag release right here. Finger still right by the trigger. You got safety switch right here. You don't have to, you know what I'm saying? You can just move that just like that. One hand. And uh, the AK, you just gotta reach around and do a whole lot of shit that's side of Yeah, it's just real easy. It feels really, really good in the hands. Bruh. So, yeah, man, this will wrap up my video. Uh, y'all know the model, man. Know that stay ready. Ain't got to get ready. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. 47 troop. We established. It's almost 700 strong. And, uh, man, I'll see y'all on the next one, man. I'm out of here.